The next tab on the right is the Properties tab, which brings up the Property Inspector. The Property Inspector allows you to set any of the properties of whatever is currently selected. After switching to the Selection tool, I select my rectangle, the properties for that rectangle are displayed in the Property Inspector. The Property Inspector is made up of multiple categories, for instance, brushes and appearance. Each category can be collapsed so you can find the categories you're looking for more quickly, and the mouse wheel allows you to move easily up and down through the Properties Inspector. Many categories also have advanced properties that can be displayed with this small chevron here. Clicking the chevron will also hide those properties again so they are not in your way. Because of the number of properties, the Property Inspector also has a search bar that I can click in and type any portion of a string, such as the bitmap, to find all the properties that contain the word bitmap. In this case, the bitmap effect is displayed, but since that was an advanced property, the advanced portion of the appearance category is already expanded for you. The search box uses an OR search, so as I type other properties, say the opacity, it will now display all the properties that contain either opacity or bitmap. You can also search on the type of a property. In this case, brush will display all the properties that are of type brush. So at the moment, I'm showing all bitmap properties, all opacity properties, and all the properties of type brush. When you're done, you can simply highlight and clear out the text, or just click on the X button to restore yourself back. When multiple elements are selected on the artboard, the Properties Inspector will only show you those properties that are common to all the selected elements. For instance, now, when I scroll to the top, the Fill property that we saw in the rectangle is no longer displayed in the Brush category since an image control does not have a fill. However, since both an image and a rectangle have an opacity, that property is displayed. I'm going to select my rectangle right now, and we're going to change some of the properties on the rectangle. When multiple elements are selected, selecting one element or another will change the primary selected element, but still keep all of the elements selected. In this case, I'm going to press Ctrl D to deselect everything on my scene, and then click on my rectangle to select it. Now the properties for my rectangle are displayed.